level deprived and he won't be able to push out the lanes as fast. That was a really good decision on Liquid's end to thanking Port and Core. Venomancer will be going mid again, Pops then. Alright, cool here. I feel like there's a high possibility that Metamorphosis is just gonna... They're just gonna try and run away on OG every time that Metamorphosis gets popped Probably. and try and play around that timing. Ooh, Mind Control in some trouble. Might be a first blood, Jax. Into the trees with the right clicks from Seb. Too much damage for the Scorpion to handle. Mind Control... Sentry D warded right now. He's gonna have a really, really difficult time. So he's gonna look for that Sentry. The OG see this and they're gonna wanna tangle that Sentry right away. Yeah, they're still going on to mind control again. He's back into lane and he just dies immediately. That is uh, not the play, mind control. And this is going to be a lot of Topson getting into position to try and bring him down here. It's a slow chase as Seb TP's in as well, and that Gale is going to land onto all three. The Boundless Strike comes in, just trying to keep him, slow him down. They won't be able to get the jingle from the miss. It's uphill. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Jarek's just caping on top of Matu there, even finding a kill in the mid lane. And they actually see GH here, and they've got, wait a minute, this guy has no items, but a little bit of an awkward chase there. Jarek couldn't quite get. The block and with Monkey King, you have like these double stuns, and you can always like set Dust up out a really easy mind kill. control. Jax looking for the Fisher block isn't even gonna throw it down, just using the enchant time for now. Now running ahead, but the bow strike from mind control is gonna allow him to get to the shrine, making the kill a little bit more difficult. Topson's still going though, he's got that Jingu to bash him down with some heavy hits with the boundless strike. We'll get another kill onto mind control up here at top. Shot, but he's just out of range of it, so my controller is carrying in the tree line for now and letting it itself heal himself straight back up again. Bottom tower. Yeah, no tail. Taking some hits from Miracle here as uh, he just gets to work on the tower. Meanwhile, Jarex also stunned up by GH, throws in the fish and lands onto Tomb. The Brother Nature coming through, doing a lot of damage to Kurugi, but not enough to stop him killing Jarex. And no tail also going down under tower here. Liquid finding big kills here in the bottom lane and this tower. Yeah, that was too, as uh, Jarex is looking at it. Oh, it does take in the end, anyway. Um, anyway, so, also the um, Hellbear Smasher from the Enigma helping out massively with that tower push just to uh, give them all the attack speed. It's, it's one of the, it's a really good, uh, oh, it's Kuroki. Uh, you caught out a little bit here as uh, Jarex finds him. They have the observable down, but uh, gunning up onto the high ground there. Yeah. A really good job at it because his tower is full health. And yeah, it doesn't take a single like, hit of damage. Him. Exactly, so... Kill me rather now, in. but now they're looking to punish. Wukong comes in with Seb rolling over as well. Fisher even being committed. They really want to get mind control here. He's into the tree line, out of mana, and the trees will find him. The right click comes in. Seb gets a kill. Meanwhile, down in the bottom lane, JH actually got the solo kill onto No Tail to respond to that. So, okay, No Tail. But uh, he's, he's used to living this life. GH though, he's, he's getting a fair amount though. He's, he's a chunky boy. He's got Helm of the Dominator and Arcane Boots up already. Uh, pretty nice. Meanwhile, there's Woozy McGage going on, actually on some of the Tomb Men here. There's once again OG just rotating in for the aggression here, and now they're looking at Kuroki as well. He's going to get picked up under the tower by Ana, so two heroes going down here for OG. And they're going to get another tower, it looks like. It's actually so beautiful the way that's Not a really done. nice setup. GH wins his curse, just holding him still for the time being. Throws down the Midnight Pulse, but it's not going to do him any good. Another fish are kind of blocking him off, but the right click. Decide to commit three or four heroes to. They're, they're definitely going to like get a kill there. So Here's the Monkey King setting up on the Enigma. Yep, and Notel coming in to help him out as well. And guess what? Seb's got the TP. It seems like anywhere they go, they're just falling down. But at the same time, Liquid, they're still here. He wants it. Oh, his tree gets to a gun. Miracle sees it. This could be a trouble, but thankfully, Notel is there to throw in the Winter's Curse. And now Thompson can cock up the wall. Comes it comes down onto Miracle. He needs to get himself out. He's got the Sunder, but Thompson doesn't have that much health either. It's barely a swap, but a swap will do as Miracle gets himself away. Meanwhile, they're wrapping around the back and they actually find the kill onto Seb. Liquid turning up the aggression. Notel trying to get through the trees using that. Oh, into the they're actually going to get away from this one. They don't have any way to see him in the map without uh, getting punished for it. But then here he is. He's alive again, so. Yeah, they're going straight away onto bottom once more. Matsu running himself away. They don't have the damage to finish him off, and Kuroki kind of giving his life for the cause here, just holding Thompson back and doing as much damage to him as he can. And Matsu realizing that he's actually keep hitting him to keep him locked down. He's he really looking for this kill here. He's going to run right into the guy. Thompson's on top of him here. He's going to turn around and beat him in. Thompson just getting to work in this bottom lane. Little. I killed Seb in the back. Huh? They have more kills than Liquid, but it feels like Liquid's kills have been more valuable, right? It's like they killed the Nature's Prophet a few times and they got the Sanking, I mean the Earthshaker before he got Blink Dagger, yeah. so. Mind Control, maybe in some trouble. So Rob and Nature comes ripping through, and that's gonna be enough to bring down Mind Control. Monkey, Black Hole, onto Thompson. GH wants this kill, and in comes Jarek trying to save the day, but the Hex came out already onto the Monkey King. Thompson needs to get himself out and should be able to do so. Now the Echo Slam comes down onto GH, holding him down, allowing OG to find the trade. 
That's not even a trade, actually, as uh, Thompson gets himself away. And then we're done here. Boundless strikes onto Kuroki here. Jarrett closes the gap, and there's a right click coming in from Seb to finish off Kuroki. And Matsu can all but watch on this Venomancer, feeling a little bit impotent as his team. Those, those kills are just not possible for a Liquid. And just allowing uh, oh, Jarrett Thompson looking for more, although he's uh, a little bit glitched on there, but oh, finding wow, so damage. much damage, so much damage, counting the units as he goes or something. Meanwhile, Miracle still just doing his best to farm up here. He's kind of keeping up with the main pack of the OG heroes, but Anna quite a bit ahead because she's just had full space this game. She's had roam of this entire area, but that's what happens when you take this jungle. Meanwhile, Jarrett goes down, but there should be Kuroki falling here, though he's got a lot of lockdowns. So they're going to need a plus one. Actually, he drops the snake for this one as well. But in comes a heal just to save off the damage and Seb with a smash in the back from behind. Martin's still hanging around here. Seb needs to get himself out, I think, as GH comes over as well. But Anna wrapping around the back here. My control runs forward. And there's a nice ultimate gonna lock down three inside of it. Venomous taking a lot of damage and Anna coming in from the back. But there's a Venomalty coming through. They need to control up Mind King. They can't let Epicenter go off and they certainly will not. They're just chasing him down. Mind Control Very getting harried by illusions. Miracle's coming in though. He's gonna get the kill onto No Tail. That's actually the first kill of this fight as uh, No Tail falls. Island trying to TP out of this one. Thanks to Poison, but will escape. Matsu gonna go down. Thompson needs to find his way out of this one. He's carrying a big kill streak, which he can't give up to Miracle right now. He does have that tree dance there. Uh, and uh, finds his way uh, out. Uh, died in the Oh, oh my god, god. he did. And Seb, now in the trees, also going to be finished off. Liquid, find three huge kills here. They don't get the Monkey King. Thompson closing the gap here. They're even going to throw down the X time just trying to secure this kill. Uh, Wukong's used. Slightly questionably. Doesn't find the distance there. GH just about surviving as Kuroki turns around, but there's a route to nature. Going to finish it off, and yep, Prophet TPing into the backlands here. They'll get the second onto Kuroki. Mind Control quivering in the trees. He's got a blink dagger there, so should be okay. And Seb doesn't even care. He just wants to get this tower down. He knows this. Up when the fight develops. So it is not actually good for him. Looking on the backlands though, Matu, if they can bring him down before he get this ultimate, that would be the dream. He's turning it around, and now the Gale comes out and with poison over as well. They were trying to finish oh, him nice up with the thunder. thunder. Miracle saving his homie, and this is going to be Thompson probably falling, although he's got the Aegis, so it's not that big a deal, but they still just don't want to use it for absolutely nothing, but they will be forced to. Meanwhile, they've actually got Jarax here. Helps on the backline. They're going to sing up, but that's not going to be enough to save Jarax. This is looking bad for OG. They really want to stay and finish off the kill on Kuroki here, but it's all going to cost them. The Illusions will probably do the job, but not before the wards come out. Anna needs to get himself out. He's actually stuck between the tree and the ward. He needs to break that one to get himself away. Meanwhile, Matsu being chased out by Thompson. He's going to get probably killed by this guy with the black hole on the backlines. It's just onto the native profit. Nate, just trying to control up the backlines as Matsu does fall. Now, mind control. Power strike through onto two. But Thompson here to try and ward them off. Keeping them off. Seb and Noto who are low on HP and they're just going to work throughout the Winter's Curse. Allow Thompson to get this one kill with a blink. What a juke from mind control. Still keeping himself alive with those three stacks of Jingu. Can't afford to let Thompson get close to him. Thompson and mind control playing it around. A power strike through. Mind control keeping himself alive. But there's a boundless strike and needs to get in close. He's actually let the Jingu run out though, so it's really tricky for Thompson to get this kill, especially when the Sandstorm comes out and Thompson's got no sight. Meanwhile, they're still chasing GH. GH with the long run away, but Jarex does come in. I think he TP to the middle tower there. A long, a long lot engagement. And oh, he's turning it around. My control, he's not done with Thompson here. He's trying to turn this one around. They're both on low HP. The fight between these two heroes is never ending. Two gods of Dota fighting it out. And Seb says no. I am the only god here. <laughs> He did come out on top. A smoke. Oh, no, Thompson. That's a, oh, that's a yeah, But there's a Winter's oh, Curse. Wow. Oh, turning it around onto the Venomancer here. Almost finishing him off of the Wrath of Nature. Actually, jumps through. They're going to throw down the song just to kind of re-evaluate where they actually want to go for this fight. And they just flat out block out the Terror Blade. They yeah, are trying to get themselves out. OG not interested. And this is the thing, right? He pops the Metamorphosis and they just run away from him. Exactly. He has got the Arcane Rune this time, though. Yeah, that's going to help a lot because the Arcane Rune is like... Like, it's only gonna be like a 50 second downtime after the meta goes out, so... They get a pretty important tier 1 tower, and there's no Roshan up right now, so... OG don't really have, like, a play to make after this, and they're well, gonna they find... Found Jarex, though. He was trying to see, just get a sneaky wrap around, but uh, they were aware. As the ward spots him out with Plague Ward and unable to blink away, Jarex will fall. That was and a really impressive play from Liquid.
Yeah, the meta now does run out, so maybe their ability to fight is a little bit limited. But still going forward, Stop's going to turn around with the Wukong. The last two inside of it, but the fourth back. Jarek's flying back into this one. He wants to make the play. The Echo Slam on the back. Last going to hold still a turn. Can they kill him off before he gets up the thunder? No, he cannot. As a black hole comes in from a response there. Miracle back up to full HP. Rough Nature ripping through, doing a lot of work. Kuroki is still in the back lines. He just turns around with a shackle. The hold most still. Meemaw GH is found in the trees. Now Kuroki brought down by Seb. It is a victory for OG, but actually, Nazi's coming back in. He's like, he wants to take this one. Both strike through from mind control as well. The top up in the trees. No tail has fallen. Jumping into this fight, Matsu will eventually go down. And now Liquid really do need to clear themselves away. They at least get a buyback from no tail. But I mean, it's not a big deal if mind control is getting ripped apart. And the net connects as well. I don't think he's getting out of this one as they make the connection. Mind control will be slain in the river. Ana finds himself a triple kill. A huge fight for OG and another Liquid. I feel like the later this game goes, it does benefit liquid till the time like monkey king has like six blocks up he can monty gets popped though top notch he's running into everybody here a beautiful winter's curse coming down on sienico but it's actually just not doing enough this miracle might actually but there comes the echo time to follow up as well it's a little damage they happen i'll take out two, those three heroes the miracles are coming in the back lines can't really seem to do enough here anna coming in behind here he's got to be careful miracles doing a lot of damage and they can't seem to control him up the buyback from liquid come in martu is dropped though og just seems to be taking more kills no tail finally going to be the first casualty for og that's the top oh, Ready, Thompson. Oh, the save, oh, the save, save from Ana. And he could DP himself away once again. The disengages from OG proving so valuable in this match. Yeah, so that ward they have on. Yeah, maybe their idea should be like. They can try to burn. All. He just wants to try and get the cheeky Aegis pick off here, but that's not gonna happen. He just bounces back away to the tree. <laughs> Yeah, oh, he's sending a real Naga. Oh, Naga. Naga. How did he find that? Another black hole comes in from GH to hold her still. Ana just dies in the middle lane. That's, <laughs> how did he find the real one? Back. He knew he was going to die if he didn't thunder something, and it's like, oh, I got the real one. Neat. Uh, meanwhile, they've got no tail in the back lines here. I don't think no tail's going to be getting it out of this one, but oh, Thompson wants to come in and try and save the day. And they're actually going to kill him to And this uh, guy on the back line doesn't look too healthy either. That's going to be GH going down. Sand King held still. Also, they're not done. OG just ripping through the back lines here. It's a triple kill, but Matu comes in with the ultimate poison over. They're just going to throw the Echo Slam down onto the Venomancer because Jax knows he's dead. All the same. The Thompson chasing, chasing, and chasing. There comes that cheese from Matu. Marty, though, it's not looking too great for the Venomancer. He's going to get his grapes picked by Thompson. It's yeah, an that ultra was actually, That was freaking beautiful by OG. Like, you know why they did that? It's because the Naga doesn't have... No. And, well, there's your Aegis ticking away. So, uh, won't have okay. that combo. He's stuck on the high ground a little bit here. BKB pop from Thompson. Yeah. They're to take the fight to them here as Notel runs forwards, but Miracle actually finds the full stuff down into the low ground. That pike... Value pipe. That's actually beautiful. Meanwhile, Nana getting busy in the middle lane. Power. Yeah, Kuroki also going to get picked up on the runaway here. Hey, uh, not the best disengages. Matsu coming in, really wants to get the die back onto No Tail, and with that ultimate, we'll be able to do so. There's not a whole lot he can do about that one, but we have the Rapier pickup. Miracle is tired of playing around. He wants to take the fight to OG. Getting himself a ridiculous amount of damage, hitting for over six. Oh, they found Thompson again. Out meta and taken down from the trees. The Monkey King, he's just going to get eaten alive by Miracle and turning godlike right now. Except trying to get his way out of this one, but the Burrow Strike is going to find him inside those trees and the artillery cannon. That is Miracle is just going to go to work and dismantling these OG they have no heroes. Ways. They have no ways. They have no ways yet. Can't go to the high ground. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? The back to protection. Up. It doesn't matter. The fortify comes through. How long do we have left on Metamorphosis? It's about 30, uh, kind of 20 seconds here, but they just rip through the back door. Miracle, he doesn't give a shit. He's just tearing through, but they're also taking the base on the side of OG. They've taken two towers. They've taken a barracks. They're trying to play around with GH here. Meanwhile, Miracle going to work, still beating through the back lines. Going to TP himself in as GH actually goes to the black hole. Just trying to help them still as Miracle makes its way back, and they will come into this fight and blow up Jerax, and it looks like Seth's going to go down as well. Arna's the one in trouble. He pops that ultimate and trying to TP himself away. Should be successful in doing so but was that a dieback on seb it certainly was dead for a hundred
cooldown is going to be much easier. Oh, they're just going to go in and here. Here it is. Yes, but Thompson is there with the Wu Kong. It actually catches out GH as well. He's helped still in the back lines. And Jun a lot of help in this one. Miracle trying to come forward. But they're just trying to control him up. And Mind Control actually pops the ultimate, but isn't able to jump oh, in. Seb. They've got oh, no. Seb on the front. Yeah. He's going to be at least one kill for them as Thompson jumps in. Trying to bring down the first man here. Trying to stop him getting that poison over up to allow teams to come into this fight. And there it goes. Poison over is popped. Meanwhile, the song being used just to hold them still. GH actually it's got that black hole cancelled by something there, I think. It is on cooldown. Milo Burrow strike up onto the high ground. Ana held still. This could be bad. They need to find a way to get him out of this one, but they're running out of spells to use. Help him out from the low ground. Miracle just doing a ton of damage. Ana forced back to the shrine. Still taking hit after hit. The net comes out. They're chasing hard. Ana, there comes a cold embrace trying to save him, but this allows Liquid to get in a better position. The Burrow strike comes through, and the damage from Miracle is way too much. Ana's gonna fall. Buy back immediately. Seb, he's in, trying to get that rap play, but Mind Control is back, they're not going to lose anything right now. Meanwhile, Boundless, a Fisher, a Boundless Strike as well, he's actually going in here, Thompson, the absolute madman, jumping in deep oh, here, and he's going to get torn apart. Seb on the back lines as well, trying to just bring down the Terror Blade some way, somehow, but gets himself slammed up. Help still fry the Shaman, there comes the Echo Slam, is enough to bring anybody down, they're trying to find down the Terror Blade, and they will be able to find that kill, and down goes Kuroki as well. OG, finally managed to turn this fight around, but the buyback's coming in from Liquid, no one is willing to give up or They made OG, they made Liquid fight 4 versus 5. That was like the most beautiful way that OG could have used. It does Step mean the Aegis goes into the hands of Topsy. He actually picks up the refresher shards and Mind Control just runs in and grabs the cheese. Anna, no Aegis for Not him as Topsy's the one taking all this damage. Look at this coming through to him. No tell on the high ground as well, being controlled up a little bit here. He's actually going to get finished off. Topsy comes back immediately popping that BKB, just trying to get himself out. He realizes there's no time for him to TP. And in they go with the Sand King. He oh, does have no, the refresher and there's die. a black hole. Got Anna, but cancel up immediately by Jarek. There's no BKB from GH to so just run out there. And Anna now being beaten down. This is going to be the Rapier back in the hands of Miracle, he reclaims it. Back. And Thompson as well back. picked off. This might be it for OG. Liquid, they fight into the Aegis and somehow come out victorious. As Seb just trying to push out again and again. They don't have any creeps that they've proved before, but they just don't need them. Wow, is this it? that was actually and incredible. Like, Liquid fighting into that, even though, you know, they, they, they're being pressured, that was perfect. Because if they don't take that fight and they, let, they just let OG get out of that situation with the Aegis, they, I don't think they would have been able to control this game anymore. So they know like that's the one time where OG is going to be sitting in one area and you know where they are. You can always just go in there, cast your midnight pulse, cast your stuns, try to kill them. Oh, in the back, Seb. Can't do anything. Yeah, he's just trying to split waves, make some space, doesn't have buyback either, now it's just gonna be Jerax. Looking rather unlikely right now, as uh, Liquid they get towards this uh, little tip force. Jerax, I mean, he could get a kind of big black hole he wants to, trying to find the creeps here, nine controllers on top of him with the Yule Scepter, it's all over I think, as they kind of catch out Jerax here. The uh, tier fours under attack now from Miracle here, and there's that GG being called. Game number one goes to Liquid in a thrilling 50 minute game, backwards and forwards the whole OG, and they were ahead for such a long time, but Miracle holding in Liquid, trust in Miracle, and that trust does end. Everything's going to uh, yeah. come down to the Broodmother for sure. I think so as well, yeah. And uh, Seb Earthshaker, as we're seeing now, that's uh, pretty exciting stuff coming out from this offlane. I mean, nobody likes the un unconventional picks every now and again, as all of the OG players do. But this is something really good as well. Like, imagine if the Sven didn't have this Ring of Health in this lane. Like, how crushed would they be? Undying keeps <laughs> decaying uh, and stealing his GH slide into the bottom lane here. They've got the damage on Sven. Dying, can they finish him up? The Sauron going to help him on a little bit, but the stun comes out from Miracle. The right clicks will come in, and No Tail takes a fall. Arna, without his laning partner, has to stay under the tower as uh, Kuroki just saying hello. Yeah, he's actually completely okay with that that time. But uh, still securing Miracle, a little bit of fun, but yeah, now he comes back in, ready to roll. Uh, Zana did take quite a bit of nuke there, but can heal himself out relatively quickly. Oh, Silencer, he got he's his TP cancelled. Yeah, he's actually been run down by Matu and Mind Control here. He's trying to chase uh, the Sand King down. Kills onto the creeps really quickly into the game. Right. Uh, onto the spiderlings. Oh. There's uh, Anna fighting out with Kuro here, and in comes the tombstone. Miracle is right in front of it, so they'll be able to blow it out quite quickly, but that just gives it time for Jarek to wrap around the back here. Kuro's gonna be the first one to drop. Now they look for more. They're looking into Miracle here. He doesn't have mana for a stun. He will when he pops this one, though. He's got actually 16 charges on there right now, but Thompson even joining in this one. They really want to bring some damage down onto Miracle here, and they're certainly gonna find this kill. Doesn't even pop the wand. There is no point. Meanwhile, GH just to get himself to the chance of their boy now. 
Uh, meanwhile, they're actually fighting up OG here. Nota just running forwards though, throws down the tombstone. Anna jumping in onto Miracle here. He's got a curse coming through onto him from the silencer. They don't have enough damage to bring him down, but Thompson comes flying in. Jerry's actually the first one to die on the silencer. Thompson needs one more hit and we'll find it. Miracle can't get to the trees in time. We want GH though. He's managed to clean up too. Anna, he's still trying to fight up with GH as Thompson comes running in from behind. I think GH days are numbered as Thompson comes in and he will be slain. Anna gets himself another one, which brings him up to a killing spree. Mid tower is taking some damage. But then comes Thompson. He's fighting against a brood mother. He's also getting like all this extra broodlings and things like that. Oh, and Thompson got caught up. So you're gonna get black one. Oh, here? they're gonna get black hole. It certainly is. The Eidolon's here to help him out as well. With Rest of Liquid Heroes coming in. Oh, that was really nice. Like completely one-sided. Yeah, 75 on Seb and uh, mind control down all the way at 36. Goodness. Uh, he's trying to find some self revenge here. GH, you black hole me. I smack you. GH slain. And Thompson just running up onto the high ground here. They've actually got this huge ancient stack here ready for the spend. Is there anybody on OG who can really take that? I don't think. My god! <laughs> he's actually going to disarm the guy. So uh, Thompson is going to taunt alongside him for the time being. And one more hit will bring him down. There's a TP coming in from Mind Control. Miracle in from behind as well. The double stun. They stack him up, but they want this epicenter to come off. Thompson's just going to throw down the ultimate and try and get himself out. He's got the Jingu. We'll try and heal himself up with the catapult. Not <laughs> doing a whole lot. Trying to make his way through to the trees. He's got the tree down to one second, but no. He's going to stop it with the course. He's going to jump in. In, and if I'm in the trees, Thompson not really making his way out of that one, tries to dodge the damage, but unfortunately it's not quite enough. Thompson, it takes a long time. I think he's got his Lincolns also. It's also very, very farmed. He just doesn't yeah. look it because he has like three rage bands and Brute doesn't, but very powerful on this. Thompson on the high ground, getting vision. Yeah, that allows me to kill the GH, but they're actually going to try and jump in here, Liquid. Not too sure about this, but more. Um, Blue wants to try and fight right now. He's got his BKB and he wants to use it, but running through his wound comes, taking a ton of damage. He's find a hero to heal up on that. Hero is going to be set, trying to make it go through the trees, but Matu is going to be easily finding him with those webs. Global Science comes out to try and buy him a bit of space, but unfortunately, Liquid are just coming forward right now. Now the Sons of Jarek, they might find themselves another one. No tell, turn around, see what he can do. He actually just gets slowed up by the defusal blades. They go for another one. Thompson sitting on the trees, but there is really nothing he can do but watch No tell go down. He will actually destroy those trees there as they uh, try and search for them oh, randomly. <laughs> it's like playing Battleship, isn't it? <laughs> you sunk my Thompson. Thompson will not get sunk because he manages to get himself out. Going for a Radiance, huh? Uh, who's this? Anna? I'm not sure that's where you want to be. He goes oh, for the GK wow. into Matu, but GH is going to slide in with a Wolf Star. I didn't expect that one, but he does get the Strength Morph off in time. Is it going to be enough to keep him alive? Turning into the Sand King, but gets immediately blown up. Stunned immediately inside that Sand King form by Mind Control. Because he has so much of OG's net worth. Okay, oh, comes yeah. Matu with the insatiable yeah, hunger, but he's got out a little bit here. Does manage to get the BKB up. They can't keep him stunned. Trying to heal up off no tail, but no tail turns around and slams him with Anna. And now Miracle Tarn has turned up to this fight. I'm not sure this is the fight you want to be involved in. Miracle Spider's dead. He knows to get himself away, but the global science comes out, but a forced off again. He's forced around the fight as he's able to get up to the high ground. Anna with the uh, blast, unable to keep Miracle still for the time being. Turns into the spend and stuns him up with the storm hammer. Now Thompson comes in with the bounder strike, trying to bring him down. In they go with that damage. He turns around the god strength though, trying to block Anna, but it's not going to happen. Miracle tries to make the play. Actually gets a kill onto no -Tail using that, but unfortunately, he's still going to be dead. They have Earthshaker with his Echo Slam up as well. OG are in the H bottom. Uh, yeah, Seth's gonna play around with him. He goes in for the Echo, go for the big plays, and there's a global silence as Thompson's on top of them as well. They've got an Eggbag kind of cornered into the Fisher here. They need to bring him down though. They don't do it in time, and now he just turns around with the easiest black hole of his life. Getting two heroes inside of it. Seven, no tail finished off. They do get the kill onto GH, but at what cost is they also grab a kill onto Kuroki on the back lines. Thompson needs to get himself away here. He's not very healthy. Up onto the high ground, looking for Matsu. Matsu, he gets out okay. But the first strike oh, was on to Anna, caught without strength, they forced up away, but in comes the spiders, and they get that kill, Jarek's going for the TP out, they don't actually have to cancel on top, so he needs to jump himself out of this one, should be able to do so safely, but Anna goes. We can see OG going for that, but then they don't have the global up quite yet, I think they will wait maybe 10 seconds and then try to do it, so they have their Echo Slam and their Global Silence up. Yeah, those big spells, right yeah, it's coming off cooldown. 
Well, they don't care. They want to go for it. And uh, Anna will need to charge into the pit top. Soon there as is well. no black Just going to throw down that Wukong. So, I mean, this area where they want to initiate in. You saw uh, Miracle going there. And then Mike Strong will be able to find the long way. But actually gets caught out by the Fisher. The Fisher just blocking them all up as well. Miracle can't get away into this fight. And then just laying the damage down onto Mike Strong. He's going to get burnt away. But Thompson being chased down by the Spider. That's going to be killed onto him. And now Anna kind of stuck in the pit a little bit. They have two man okay. with a storm hammer. And now jumping around it. But Roshan's jumping low. Miracle. He's just chopping and chopping. And he's going to get the kill. And the Aegis Seb comes in with the Echo Slam. Brings down Matu. They should get the return kill onto Miracle as well. So they have the damage to finish him off. Anna, pretty strength right now. Needs a little bit more just to finish him off here. But the adaptive strike, not enough. Waveform forwards. Anna just can't find the damage for Miracle right now. There's the Storm Hammer though coming in. That's going to be the first kill. Seb, he's going to have a Fisher for the second as well. No tail as well here. A little bit early on the Fisher, but it doesn't really seem to matter too much. They're just going to have to run Miracle down. Stun onto two. Ah, no. Just managed to get the strength more off. And the adaptive strike will finish the job with that ethereal blade the shotgun oh yeah like that that this radiance sick, has been like... so valuable even the engagement bottom like he lived because of that radiance mischance when the sven was hitting him so yeah. if it wasn't for that i think he would already be dead right now oh they're gonna actually run into this pit. Yeah, look at the right now. No, no tail. tail. He's even getting jumped upon. Martu and Mind Control just getting on top of him. The H and tail both gone. But yeah, no Enigma as the uh, Tombstone just getting focused up on the high ground. But uh, God Strength and BKB being popped. Miracle wants to find Seb. They're just trying to kind of kite him around right now. Thompson on the run. Stun actually comes out. This is problematic. Nice Thompson fun. is going to get jumped. But in comes the Echo Slam. Cool. On to three. Seb with the jump in as they will fight this one up. They're not dead just yet. They don't quite have the follow up damages. The stun comes down onto Jarex. He's going to get finished off. Seb being chased down by Martu as well, all out of mana and running out of health as well. Despite the echo, it wasn't enough to turn this fight for OG as somehow it comes swinging back in Liquid's favor and Anna go for the TP just about makes it up. Two stuns on the way into base, but Anna will survive. Focus on Tombstone and Jerex just uses the opportunity to sneak out the side door. That was impressive. But they might still be able to get him as well. They're turning it around to the Minecraft fairly quickly. Here, the global sign's coming out as well, but they will be able to get the stun out because the BKB through from Miracle. Cancel out that signs, and in comes a black hole as well. They don't have to cancel anymore. Seb held still, but they will be able to bring down Seb. Now, the Wukong, though, it's doing a lot. I'd say that. GH already dropped, and now Seb comes in with the Echo onto Matsu and Kuroki here. As Matsu's taking some damage, but he's inside that false promise. He'll stay alive for Type B. Meanwhile, Jarrett will just snipe off Kuroki on the sidelines here. Matsu trying to escape, but there is no escape. Fate. And so yeah, that's they be should have definitely set up for the silencer and not have to. Picked up a uh, I have Scotty. Really big item. Like if Sven gets hit by one yeah. Scotty shot, he is so slow. Like he's gonna get kited so hard. That's the perfect counter to the BKB Sven. Scotty and the Ebl. Yeah, they're really just kind of trying to count them. And the oh, is well, to be honest, but they're coming up onto the high ground here. This could be from money, but the first strike in! They get it in time, the Global Science comes down, but they're just drifting through the Earth Shaker. And Seb, both taking out the fight immediately. That's no buyback on Seb, as Thompson, he's been chased around the fight as well. Anna does come in and blow up GH, but Seb, Thompson's just getting annihilated in the tree line here. Meanwhile, Joji's gonna try and get out with the two heroes here. The Lincolns is popped, the four star forwards, Matu. Well, goes for the kill onto Jarex here, and the stun onto the creep. Miracle gets a keepy cancel, and that is gonna bring down Jarex as well. Anna now needs to run as Liquid in a great place to look for some objective right He's like it, it's becoming so much more difficult for OG to play like OG was waiting for that Roshan that was their timing to get the Aegis and walk to the high ground and get a good team fight but now they lost it, ripped so. away as they're actually coming forward on some no-tail here no-tail you can't throw blade it up but oh, okay, Ghost Saptor on here and they go for the other kill as well I'll just two shot at him <laughs> oh my god now Stun coming on to Anna here, of course he's got the Lincoln Spear, so not too bothered. Linking in with the BKB, trying to pop no tail as quickly as possible, but no tail will survive. And throw down the tombstone. Oh, never mind. Never mind, a 1,300 crit for Miracle, not even from a day list. That is just a Bloodthorn. Miracle still chasing here, he's not done on that one as he jumped in. Eric, Jerax on the front lines. He's gonna actually drop a fair amount of damage onto the spin as Anna comes in from behind. Actually turns into the Earthshaker, but it's not enough to keep Jerax alive. All supports are dead and there's no Wukong's command up, so they might just consider walking into the high ground right now. It's not like they can wait for the next Aegis, even though it's going to be running out one. Oh, it's, it says one minute. Okay, right, right now, by the way. <laughs> it's just a, just a casual 1,700 oh, okay. right-click damage. Hey, hit him! Oh, <laughs> girl, hit him. Oh, she goes with the EKX. Oh, Cancelled out! Kuroki! So 
quick with the Edict there. It's just both movement and going in quick. They'll be able to finish off Seb. He does not get anything off in that fight. There's Martin now chasing on no tail as well. But he's going to have that go set to keep himself alive. But Miracles on him straight away. Mind control with the blink through. On to two. Black hole to follow up as well. Anna's in some trouble as is Thompson. Anna's dead. The Morphlin going to buy back into this one. But Monkey King, he's got down as well. Also has the fire back. This Jesus Science is going to be back as well. Trying to get the quick pick onto the spend here. But not quick enough. And he's still got the Aegis anyway. So it would have even matter if they jump in onto Anna here. And the bar is trying to follow up as well. Pop that Link is with the initial storm power. Then following up. He's rooted up in place. But Liquid, they're not interested. They want to try and get a tower. The bar strike falls from Anna now. So he's trying to bring down Mind Control. Mind Control just blinking himself away. The bar strike out. And now the wound comes. The big ring is here. It's with two of them being chased. He's actually going to survive this one for the time being. Never mind. They find it with the uh, Ethereal Blade. Grokey going for the TP out. Jackson top from the Pound of Strike as well. Going to catch him. So it looks like they will be getting Oracle as well. OG defending. And a little bit more as they take a bunch of kills on their own base. Nullifier from the Broodmother is going to stop them from being able to do that. Attempting to develop the team fights. A very good way of putting it, but no tail just trying to go for a bit of dewarding here. Could be in a sort of bother though, as Marty is chasing him down. They're trying to get the counter initiation, trying to go for Kuroki here on the back line. Seb's on top of him, comes in with that enchanted totem as uh, GH comes down, throws down the Midnight Pulse. Seb still trying to get off some stuns here, but he's just been controlled up so much. He's actually just going to die straight up. Seb and Jarrett already brought down. Anna just piling into the spend though. Spend needs to get himself away from this one. He's taking a lot of damage, and now it comes to Look at to finish the job here. Wu comes down, but the black hole to cancel. But Spen's already dead. He Back, but he can't get quickly enough to follow up on this black hole damage as Anna just turns around and starts pounding into GH. GH is taking so much damage. The top one finishes off Kuroki. Mind control down to the low ground. GH is finished up. And there's the ethereal blade. He's going to try and go for the TP. They, they don't see it. Oh, there we go. Set is there with the Yule Set. They certainly dips him. He's waiting for the Earth Shaker to get into position. Mind control dies. Buys back immediately. But two here is dead without buyback. OG are onto the high ground now. Now looking on this Wukong's command. Yeah, I mean, they didn't give it to Jax, they didn't even give it to the Shaker. <laughs> like, two awesome heroes have this shard on, but they know this Wukong is the most important in the game. As they get the stun onto two, there's a great initiation for the BKB from the spent immediate turnaround. The Wukong comes down there, just trying to bring down Kuroki as quickly as possible, get rid of that save. But Sky Control can't do anything. The next one on the back lines, looking for a come kind of entry here with the black hole. He's hanging around, but the BKB is actually run out. Now Topson's on top of him here, they want to force this out from him. The pressure shard comes in from Topson here, as he's got another BKB charge to go. We'll be able to just hit down GH. Miracle dead, no buyback as they go on screen. Kuroki as well, they're just going to burn him down, he might be invisible, but it does not make you immortal. The Fates promise it's going to take him a little bit of time to kill him, just piling in the damage, why not? It's like a pinata, but Anna, he's got the eyes on the prize, a tier 4 being beaten down here, Liquid looks like they might be falling here as they try to go for the counter initiation onto the back lines here, but two heroes stand up together inside that second Wukong's command, my control, he's the last surviving member of Liquid, the last hope, but it's not realistic, as they will be brought down, and the GG is called game number Number two goes to OG, bringing us to a third game. What a second match. What a happen right now. In the words of you, they have been absolutely beautiful Dota. Oh, that was so Felt a bit of pressure when, it, when they saw this TB and the, the Less Strike being countered by the Pugna. They wanted to really get something late game. Alrighty, well, as Liquid... Everything was really slow in the early game because neither sides have like much kill potential on it Unless someone really messes up Okay, Miracle Moving on to the air tail here, but coming up to the high ground here Seb's moving himself in, the body the rune will go to Miracle But the bow strike onto two, Seb, he's not interested in the runes He just wants to get the kill right now, but Miracle would have run straight past Seb And is like, thank you very much And that's going to be three bounty runes going the way of Liquid OG unable to pick themselves up uh, Any more than the singular one they want Kuroki, they don't want this they guy. They want it, they want it, and the Burrow Strike will find it. Now they're actually go getting beaten down as well. They might get themselves two here. Oh, no, so just with the right click damage, the Edict comes in, but there's actually a Fissure coming in from the sidelines as Jarrett gets involved. Motel will die in response, and now the Shackles out onto Seb, but there's no follow up damage. Thick. Not inside the tower range, the Aether Shock, the Mist Coil. It's not enough as he's got a South coming in for him. He has no idea. So the Crab Fight comes out, the Fissure as well. No Tail on top of him with the Sprout. He's just stuck. He's absolutely stuck. And the damage coming down nice and quickly here. It's good. It's, it's taking a little bit longer than we expected. But Mertel will come in with a right click and find the kill. But meanwhile, they punish down in the bottom lane. They realize it's... Oh. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like it. I feel like uh, Liquid are going to have a lot more presence inside of this game from all five of the players. And this, uh... 
Let's see they're coming game. hard onto this tower. There is not going to be a response. Actually, there is. As Thompson just gets roared up straight away, and his stuff just disappears. Zep TP's into this one. Looking for the burst strike onto Miracle here. It's Anna joins in with that metamorphosis. It's too much damage, but the one comes in. She keeps Miracle alive. GH on the sidelines, blocked off by Jarex here. The wall comes through. GH trying to squeeze himself around it, but that's not going to happen. GH finished off, but it's a small kill they get. He just did that. He just right clicked the Nature's Prophet down. <laughs> and didn't even die. Heads up, play another roll. It's onto Anna, but the burst strike through onto two. Seb trying to save his carry. Anna needs to get a, third, a little bit further away. Top one gonna actually heal him up. And there's Asunder coming through. Beastmaster thought he could come in for the sneaky snipe, but instead gets sneaky snipped himself. Meanwhile, an Echo Slam slams down. They're looking for two here. They actually bring down GH straight up. Jerax in deep. Kind of trying to chase down the two men of Kuroki. Who do they go for? They actually throw down the trees onto the Medusa here. A burst strike through. She throws down the stone gates. It's gonna slow her down with the Oh no, Jerax. Jerax in a really bad position as Miracles respawn is right on top of him. And also Seb held still and bought down as well. They're going to find two return kills. The OG getting a little bit too done as well from uh, Jerax. Let's keep Miracle inside that box. The uh, company of the Enchant Totem as well. Trying to hold them back for the time being, Jerax. But Liquid really kind of taking control of this side of the map. Oh, Seb with the ultimate bow strike through onto two as well. That is absolutely beautiful. Holding them still. Can they actually get any damage off GH? Goes Miracle down. Alive. They only yeah, Miracle the... just. Yeah, I'm always on one as he comes prouncing onto the puzzle here. He's got his nether ward down, but Miracle, he doesn't care. He's pumping out more than enough damage to bring down Thompson. Thompson's saying a little bit longer than intended. And uh, Left Shack has dropped a little bit low to this, but the heals are coming through thick and fast from Kuroki, allowing him to chase some more. They want themselves Anna. Anna has the Sunder. Needs that nice health target to get to, but actually, the trees will allow him just to escape all the same. No tail throws his life in to save. OG though, they're coming in, they got Miracle inside the trees, they're trying to go for the life drain, but the Yules is out to cancel it from the left track, meanwhile the Roar just comes straight in onto No Tail here, he's just trying to run in as much as possible, trying to fight them up, because Ana is behind, but they're not going to be able to get any kind of damage off here. Wow, oh, they Jerax is just sniped up behind here. Get them to move around a little bit. Meanwhile, they found Jerax. The bow strike in from Seb gonna cancel out, and now the echo comes down. There's a lot of damage through onto Miracle. Can they finish him off though? Jerax needs to get himself away, but Miracle is dead. Kuroki also the ultimate pop. As uh, Anna just turns to stone in the middle of everybody, but he doesn't really care. He can continue chasing forward. They're looking for Matsu. They want the big tiger. There's a ping is coming out onto him. Bring down this Medusa. Can they do it though? The stone gate is already used. The mana is getting ripped through, but she's just turning around with a split shot here. And Kuroki actually running on some notes. At least he's getting himself away. The roar comes out now onto Anna. They're looking to turn this one. Liquid are in, and they've taken down Thompson. Anna with the Sunder, but he can't really fight off, especially Anna. not with the snakes sniffing into him. Seb just running around the back lines. Anna needs to run. He needs something here to help him out here as Thompson tries to turn around, but the Ether Shock from GH will finish the job inside that decrepit fight. Now Thompson, he actually bought back into this one, but will not be chased. But goodness me, another bad fight for OG. It's getting too many. They did manage to put an end. Right into the bottom where OG. Uh, Snoop, Nootel coming in from the back lines and Jerax as well. Seb also coming in. The only echo comes out. Not doing that much work though. As, uh, well, I'm just gonna let himself get frozen up. GH is oh, dead. Oh, Nootel's dead as well. Seb's still trying to play it around here as well. He's just kind of running away on the back lines. Anna still just tanking up on the front here, but he's out of mana. He needs to get himself away. Jerax trying to time the fish in nicely here as the Sunder comes out onto the left track. Miracle though pops the Dunstone, keeping himself alive. Giving himself plenty of help. And Anna will go down to the split up. Meanwhile, Seb tries to come in with an echo um, in the back lines here, but it's not really doing anything. They just feel powerless on the side of OG. And uh, it's looking like a liquid are going to be up onto the high ground right now. This might not be the explosive third game we were it's uh it, it's just been a death ball and og have, didn't have any water to put it out with and it, it looks like liquid are up onto the high ground once again the tower is completely gone the other one does come down they're just heading into this melee barracks here. This is not something OG can just let fall here. If no tail comes in, nearly dies for placing down the sprout. There's the stone gaze being used. Anna with the reflection there, just trying to bring Matu down a little bit lower. But Seb, he's got to be careful. Nice heals there to stop the snake connecting. They could actually go for a kill onto Matu here. He doesn't have anything. As Jarex comes in with the Echo Slam, is it enough to bring down Medusa? They need to get the kill onto Matu. If they do that, they would stand a chance this fight. Anna just piling on the damage, finally brings him down. But Miracle with the BKB running onto the front line. Terrified needs a Sunder, will not find it, has no buyback. So it's going to be a really tricky hit. From here on out, as uh, well, Thompson he's turning himself in a bit of trouble as Miracle runs him down. He's got the magical damage. Down goes Thompson, and the GG is called. OG lose this best of three. Liquid will make it through to the upper bracket finals. Oh, that was, that was actually insane. Did you see how much damage they needed just to kill that Dusa? And he wasn't dying because the Abaddon kept healing him non stop.